Hello everyone. We are going to look at how to create a dumbbell from a box. So you in the previous tutorial you learn how to create uh, basic objects and put them together to create a Lego Lego like object. But now we are going to look at how to modify a basic object and create a more complex object. All right. So this dumbbell has been created from a box and then we will look at what are the components of the box and how you can manipulate them to create more geometry and create a more complex object like this. So let us get started and we'll go to file new in general and we'll say don't save for this one. So uh, you can see that middle mouse click will look through the scene and there is a box. Now this box if you go to edit mode is made up of vertices. So there's a vertex. Okay, this is a vertex and then the next one is edge so a line connecting the vertices is the edge and what I'm doing is I'm clicking and dragging and then before releasing the click I'm right clicking so it goes black okay the next one is face so face is the plane that connects all the edges okay so this is what the box is made up of and there is a wireframe mode so you can see through it when I select this in wireframe, everything gets selected. But if I select it in the solid mode, uh, one face will not get selected. Okay, so you have to bear that in mind. If you want to select the entire geometry in edit mode, you have to go in wireframe mode. The other important thing to understand is if I go to object mode, uh, there is a pivot point on origin of this box, which is at the center which is showed by this dot orange dot okay so if I rotate now it is rotating from the orange dot so if you go to edit mode okay I'll go to the orthographic side view and I'll select the entire edit mode by the way I'll select the vertices and move them out and I will scale this in sorry, and move it one box apart okay so now the origin of the box is away from the the box is away from the origin if I go to object mode and now if I rotate now it's rotating from the origin which is outside the box okay why I did that is because we're going to add a mirror modifier and the mirror works from the origin so we want the big part of the dumbbell away from the origin and the hand handle will be in the middle all right now we will again go to edit mode we will select this face which we want to create the handle from all right and we are going to use the inset tool to create more geometry which will be used to so i'm moving it inside okay that will become the uh, face for extruding the handle out all right so we just added more geometry to our object and then i'm going to use the extrude tool and i'll go to the orthographic view again uh, on the side view and then i will extrude this out okay so if you click keep clicking this was on the left so we extruded it out from here to here okay I'll undo it because we only, only want to do it once and what I want is I don't want this face here so I'll hit the delete key and delete the face delete on the keyboard all right so we don't want that face so it is through and through now see there is this face and there's no face inside here it's hollow inside now what we will do is we'll go to object mode and we will add a go to modify properties and we'll add a mirror modifier okay nothing happens right now you may have to change the axis so i'll click on y and it is mirroring right on y okay now you can see that in my case there is a slight gap so what i'll do is i'll click on merge and drag this number and you can see that it snaps so that means now it has been 
merged okay so that's important that you mirror it and then you merge it okay and then you have to drag this number until you the two lines match and merge all right now that is done our mirror is done now what we will do is we'll add another modifier called subdivision surface okay and this add, makes the whole geometry smooth and i need there are two levels one is the what you see in the viewport so if i drag this out it says in the viewport is one in the render is two so for example in the viewport is zero render is two if you go to render and render in in the rendering it is smooth but viewport is not smooth so whatever you now it is looking the angle of the camera is here it's looking through this camera actually if you go to view viewpoint camera this is what is getting rendered so if you go to render render image now the viewport and the rendering is showing the same so these are the two numbers for that okay if you move your middle mouse the camera view goes away so three looks good or maybe let us keep it two and if you go to object you can make it shade smooth so it looks smooth it's still not very smooth you can see the rough edges so you get three looks better okay now what we need is we need some sharpness here and then we need some sharpness here so we need to add more geometry so we'll go to edit mode and then you can see that this is our original box and you can see still see the mesh because we have not applied the subdivision modifier yet okay we'll talk about applying the modifier later as well uh, once you apply then you will not have access to this original box so we should not apply it yet so i need one more edge loop here so that i get sharp uh, sharpness at the joint you can have a dumbbell like this also by the way uh, but uh, just to learn modeling we are going to create the other type of dumbbell where it is sharp so i'm going to click on the edge loop and click and now i'll drag and then now you can see how you can see here how the geometry changes as the edge goes closer to the other edge okay so we get that sharpness we were looking for so we can do the same thing on the side here we'll put an edge loop there and you can see that the dumbbell now has sharper edges and this looks good i mean this is fine it can be uh, has have a rubber coating on it but if it is metal then it should have sharper edges okay so you'll move it to this side and then we will add one more edge loop and move it on this side okay so we'll go to the side and then make sure that both are go to vertex mode and then you can select these vertices and we'll make sure that the both are same distance and again i have to go to wireframe modes to select the ones in the back and now this distance and this distance should approximately be the same okay so you got the dumbbell then go to object mode actually will remain in the edit mode and then what i'll do is i'll click here and then i'll say first actually i have to go to object mode i guess then apply and if i apply and go to edit mode now i don't have access to that box okay so that's what now the I'll apply this also why did this get messed up maybe we should app, uh, this is in x and y that's why it was doing that so i'll apply this modifier and apply this modifier as well and now we get a clean mesh okay 
and our dumbbell is ready. Okay, so shift D will duplicate. Shift D duplicate, right click, move it, rotate, rotate it a little, hit the N key and type 90. Select both of this, N key, go to the side view and select this one, move it on the surface, select this one, move it on the surface. So we got the dumbbell modeled and placed in the right place. Okay, so that's about it for this tutorial. Uh, practice this and see how the mirror works, how applying the modifiers work. How does the subdivision work and have fun and we'll move on to the next part which is modeling a tree okay thank you very much bye bye